Hi, my name is Guy Gilbert. I'm a group product manager with uh, Office Mobile. And um, today, Windows Phone 7 devices become available in the US, Canada, and in Mexico. Um, and Office Mobile will be included in every Windows Phone 7 device, um, which means that you get mobile versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and SharePoint Workspace on your phone. Um, and as a result, you can view, edit, and share Office documents from your phone while you're on the go without a PC. So um, let's have a look at um, Office Mobile on Windows Phone 7. I have my phone here. I have it connected with a USB um, cable to, uh, to the camera so that you can see what I'm doing on my device. So here's, um, here's Windows Phone with uh, what we call the live tiles. And um, one of the things that most people will do is use their phone to check email. Um, now, people also frequently receive Office documents attached to email. That's actually the most common way people collaborate and, and work together. So let's have a look at Outlook on the phone. Now, um, a quick way for me to filter through my email messages is to just swipe to the right and go from all messages to my unread messages to flagged messages to urgent. So I can really quickly filter down hundreds of messages to just three or one. Um, here I've received a, uh, a message from Katie with the latest numbers in an Excel spreadsheet. So let me open that spreadsheet. And what we really try to do with Excel Mobile here is render that spreadsheet in like really high quality. Um, so you can actually see the table, all the formulas are there, the, uh, the charts are there and, and look great in full color. Um, I can also look at all the other worksheets in this Excel workbook. Um, for example, this one, I've got a list here. Um, another great thing that we'll show another time is how you can filter those lists um, and do, do lots of things with lists on your phone. Now, let's go back to this, uh, this spreadsheet. Let's say that I know that um, this quantity here, 30, is not correct. Actually, this needs to be 300 um, or even 3,000. And so, as you can see, the uh, here, the uh, chart automatically updates as I update the numbers in the, in the spreadsheet. And so once I'm done with that, I'd like to send this spreadsheet back to Katie. So I don't have to go back to my PC or to, uh, to a laptop in order to do that. I can just save this document and attach it to Outlook and send it back to, to Katie and say that these are the up dated numbers. Here we go. And I just send it off. So that's an example of working with email attachments straight from your phone. Now, the central place for all my Office documents and notes is called the Office Hub. So I clicked on the Office tile on my start screen and arrived in this place. The one place where I find my OneNote notes, the documents on my phone, documents in SharePoint, and all the different locations on SharePoint sites. OneNote Mobile on Windows Phone 7 is the place to um, capture notes and, and take down ideas um, just while you're on the go and while they come up. So here I've got um, a note that I took about things to do while I'm in Seattle. Um, catch a ferry, visit Pike Place Market, etc. Now, another thing I'd like to do is to, uh, while I'm here at Channel 9, is have coffee with Michael, the cameraman here. And um, let me actually, in order to remember who, what Michael looks like, let me just uh, take a picture of him. Michael, step forward in the light. Here we go. Good. So now this picture gets embedded with my note. And so now I have some more meaning about what it means to have coffee with Michael. Um, I can go back now. And when I hit the sync button, my note will sync with um, Windows Live SkyDrive. So it'll be available if I go to office.live.com. Um, my note will be available there from any PC with a browser um, or from a PC with OneNote. And I'll be able to view my notes, sort them, organize them, and make updates to them. Now, one other thing I can do is if there are notes that I want to use frequently, I can pin those notes to start. So here, while I'm in Seattle, I want to have this on my start screen. And so now, with one click, when I'm on my start screen, 
I can just quickly go back to this note and add more things to do to my list or review it. Let's go back to the, uh, to the Office Hub. So we looked at OneNote. Um, now let's have a quick look at documents that are on my phone. Sometimes it's really handy to have copies of some of your important documents on your phone so that you can show them to other people. Like for example, this PowerPoint presentation. Um, I've got a presentation here and, and again with PowerPoint also we try to um, include all the animation and transitions that you would expect from PowerPoint. So as I go to this, um, this slide deck and I show it to somebody else, it actually looks, looks really like a PowerPoint presentation. And so if I wanted to, I could get an outline and look at all the different slides that are in this presentation, jump from one slide to another, look at speaker notes, etc. I can also, from my device, uh, get access to SharePoint uh, sites and the documents that live on those sites. So here, for example, I have a list of all the different SharePoint sites that I've had access to. Um, and so here, I've got an intranet site for Fourth Coffee. Um, earlier, I logged into that intranet site by using my username and password. And um, so now I have access to all the content on that site. Um, most important, of course, are the shared documents. And so here again, I look at a list of all the documents that are on my intranet that I now can access without a PC from my phone. Um, so for example, here, this Word document, I can look at this document, browse through it. Here again, we have an outline view. Let's say you've got a 30-page document that allows me to just quickly browse through this document without having to scroll up and down. And I can even, if I wanted to, make edits to this document on the SharePoint site. So let's say I've got a, I have a quick comment I want to make um, to some of my colleagues. Um, what I can do here is, let's see, here, I wanted to add another comment, should this number be 350, and it's actually, it should be 400. So now I added that comment to the document, and from here I can save the document and post it back onto SharePoint. Another thing I can do uh, with SharePoint documents is, let's say I hold on any of these documents, I can also um, keep a document offline. Like if it's a really important document that I also want to have access to on a plane or even when I don't have network access, um, I can keep the document offline. But I can also send a link to this document. So again, I'll use Outlook. And now automatically my link to the document on SharePoint gets embedded here. Um, and I can send it to, uh, to one of my colleagues again. Yeah, so a very easy way, again, when you're not um, at your PC or laptop to share information with other people. One of the features we introduced with PowerPoint 2010 is PowerPoint Presentation Broadcast, which allows a PowerPoint user to present his, um, his slides and his presentation over the internet to any audience. Um, people just have to have an internet connection and a browser, and they can follow along as the presenter clicks through the slides. So I have a PowerPoint presentation here, and I already sent an invitation to myself. So let's have a look here in Outlook and email where I have that, um, that invitation to attend my PowerPoint broadcast. Now, I've also included a conference call number so that I can listen to the conference or listen to my voice while I'm viewing the presentation. So I could do that by listening on speakerphone or with my Bluetooth headset. Um, so I'm dialed in. I hit the back button twice, go back to my email message, and um, follow the link that was in the... Uh, in the email message. And now, in just a few seconds, I should have access to the presentation. And as I click through the presentation, you can see that I follow along on my phone. Now, if there's something really small like this table, I can even zoom in on my phone and look at the numbers. Yeah. So this is. Um, this was a quick overview of Office Mobile on Windows Phone 7, um, available today on every Windows Phone 7 device, and it'll let you view, edit, and share Office documents while you're on the go.